In this video, we're going to be using Sterling Lightish Red and the Yates 921EH Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I am your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and we have a great one for you today. We are using Sterling Soap Company. This is lightish red and this comes to you for 875 for three ounces and on a cost chart there that is 291 per ounce which is exceptional we give that a score of five out of five on cost because that is absolutely phenomenal the scent on this is very nice i'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there it's based on abercrombie fierce which is a very nice scent some of the notes lemon orange cardamom rosemary and a bunch of other stuff it is very very good i like it a lot i give it a score of five out of five in scent quality because it smells really good to my nose scent strength is medium high i give that a score of four out of five in scent strength it's not hard to miss at all oh man <laughs> it's a great scent and the soap is actually almost have a, has a red tint to it and on the cover here too it looks like kind of like a Master Chief type helmet from Halo there that's red or pink, whatever you want to call it. This is supposed to be light red, but it almost looks pink. I don't know what's up with that, but it smells amazing. And I know it's going to be an amazing shave today, or at least as far as the soap is concerned. This is a tallow-based soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen uh, right there. It's very easy to use. I never have any problem at all getting a great lather from Sterling. We'll show you a lather shot right there. Ease of use on Sterling, five out of five. It is super easy to get a nice creamy lather and we expect to get an excellent shave from this today. The razor for today is the Yates Precision Manufacturing, Yates. This is the 921 and this is the EH plate, which is extra heavy. This is their most aggressive uh, offering. Let me put the razor specs for you on the screen uh, right there. You see the blade gap is 1.27 millimeters so this should be a very efficient <laughs> razor or at least we hope and again there's a look at the razor there there's the blade gap the only thing i don't like about this razor it's got this really long skinny handle and then if you get the other handle it is very short and it's kind of too fat so either way you go it's either too long and skinny or too short and fat actually it's not too short but it's just too fat it just it doesn't feel great to me but you can see the two handles there side by side. Uh, if this handle were short like this one, it probably wouldn't be too bad. I hope to see some new handle offerings at Yates in the uh, coming months. And someone said they might be doing that, so that would be great because I don't really care for either of these handles, but it is a nice razor and it's made in the US. It runs about $140, made in the US, all stainless steel. Not bad at all. All right, let's get into it. And we'll start by misting the face here, just getting some hydration on the face. I uh, encourage you to look at the links in the description below the video. I get questions every video about things that are in the links or lather tutorials. Somebody will say, I'd love to see how you lather it. It's in the links below. It's always there every single video. So please take advantage of that. And let's get some of this glorious Sterling lather on the face. Look at that creamy goodness. I tell you what, Sterling, I never have a bad lather with Sterling and it comes easily and it comes quickly. So ease of use, like I said, five out of five. Very easy to get creamy. And I think Sterling proves you don't need a million heavy butters in a soap uh, for someone to be able to generate a nice creamy lather. And hopefully that sheen is coming across for you on the screen <laughs> right there because this is just legit good stuff. And this scent is amazing. Now, my good friend Shady said this is uh, sort of a young person scent, but I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care anything about whether it's a mature scent, whether it's a uh, scent for young people. If I like the scent, I will wear it. Life is too short to be worrying about what other people think about your choices and scents. Um, if Blue, Blue's Clues, the show for children, came out with a good scent, I'd wear it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't really care as long as it smells pleasant. I don't care about the season. I don't care about what anybody thinks about the scent. Just enjoy yourself, folks. Don't, don't allow yourself to be beholden to all these rules when it comes to your enjoyment of scents. Just enjoy it. Get the most out of it and, and get the most out of life generally. Um, as we know, especially those of us who have, you know, illnesses ourselves or illnesses in our family. 
Life is preciously short. There's no time to be worrying about it, everybody else. Worry about what you enjoy. Wear that scent, rock it, and do it proudly. All right, let's get going with our EH. We expect this to be nice and efficient. And it is, you definitely get some blade feel right out of the gate. No mistake in the blade feel on that. But it doesn't feel bad to me. Now, keep in mind, I do prefer um, some good efficiency in razors. So generally, a nice efficient razor is gonna to be to my liking. I do have a bump down there somewhere in my neck. So if I open that up, I won't count it. But yeah, definitely efficient. It doesn't, to me so far, feel quite as efficient as the Sterling Hyper Aggressive Plate. But you can definitely feel some blade. There's no mistaking that. But it feels nice. Uh, honestly, even with this long handle, this razor feels nice. But it's just a little more handle than I want or need, honestly. So if I'm able to get a shorter handle that isn't as fat as this one, because this one is just way too... It just feels uh, clunky to me. Um, hopefully they will make some newer style handles and that'll be fantastic. But the razor, I tell you what, Yates makes a good razor. And they also make the razors for the uh, the Wet Shaving Club, right? Something like that, I think it's called the Wet Shaving Club. Like the America razor, the winning razor. Um, and those are also nice shavers. In fact, the handle on the America razor, I think is fantastic. So I wish Yates had that on this razor. I guess I could try to put it on this razor. I've never really tried that, I don't think, or if I did, I can't remember doing it. I used a lot of stuff, so it's hard for me to remember. But again, I want to remind you, please take advantage of the information in the uh, description of the video. Lots of links there, things that I mentioned, tutorials, products, linked, uh, videos, all sorts of stuff. So check that out below. I try to re remind folks once in a while, but I forget. I'm human, what are you gonna do? <laughs> First pass, fantastic. Um, even though you see that's got a really significant blade gap there, felt pretty smooth to me. So Yates has done a good job of not making that feel super rough. It does not feel rough at all. And by the way, the blade is Gillette Nasset on the first use. That was a very smooth ride. Our brush today, which I forgot to mention, Lancaster Razor Works, and it is fantastic. All right, let's get going here for our next pass with our magnificent sterling oh man uh and by the way since i sort of uh the rapid reviews like i mentioned yesterday i'm not going to do them every shave because honestly i just don't enjoy enjoy excuse me doing structured content that way but i will be giving this course during the video and it gives me time to talk about things as i go and i'll tell you right now the quality on this five five out of five Sterling lacks for nothing, in my opinion, in terms of what you need to execute a shave. If you get your lather creamy like this, it's gonna have all the slickness, cushion, and glide that you need, but it's up to you to lather it well. And if you do it, it will have everything you need. Five out of five, no question about it in, in quality. This is just an amazing soap. And ease of use, like I said before, five out of five. It's very easy to get it here. And again, watch the lather tutorial if you wanna see how I do it, and that's exactly how I do it. All right, very nice indeed. And the scent on this is fantastic. I absolutely love it. And again, I understand it's, you know, it might have been a scent that was marketed at young people, but I just simply don't care about that. And you shouldn't either. <laughs> don't allow folks to dictate what you enjoy. That's, that's my uh, advice because life is short. It's too short to be worrying about if somebody says, uh, oh, that old guy's wearing a young people's fragrance. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna wear it <laughs> and I'm gonna enjoy wearing it too. That's the main thing after all. Yeah, this is definitely an efficient razor. The EH plate stands for extra heavy. I believe it was listed on their website. Definitely efficient. This is not one of those razors you wanna be using a lot of pressure with. So keep that in mind. Now, there's one thing that I hear commonly sort of stated in shaving videos that I don't agree with, I know what they're trying to say, but when you say let the razor do all the work, the razor's not gonna do the work. Um, they say let the weight of the razor do all the work. Maybe on the downward pass, but on the upward pass, how are you gonna let the weight of the razor do the work? It's gravity, you know, it's pulling it that way. So uh, I think what they mean is don't use a lot of excessive pressure. And a lot of times the weight of the razor on the downstroke, if you control it, that is enough. But you can't just let the weight of the razor do all the work. 
um, in a literal sense. That just doesn't work. And if you try to let the razor, weight of the razor do the work on the upward or cross pass, then you know I don't think that's gonna work out very well. So what they mean is don't mash down and use a ton of pressure. I'm gonna do a cross pass on this side. And I think that's sound advice, especially on one that's quite efficient like this. So I've got very light pressure. I'm controlling the pressure here and making sure it's light. I'm not allowing the weight of the razor to do anything really. I'm just controlling it. I think what they're trying to say is really just don't use a lot of pressure. Don't mash down. And I think that's excellent advice. But when we say let the weight of the razor do the work, right now if I let the weight of the razor do this work on this upward pass, it's not going to do anything or it's going to fall on the floor. So <laughs> I still have to control the razor. And there's a certain amount of pressure involved, but it's very, very light. So keep that in mind. And I tell you what, this soap is smelling fantastic. I am just enjoying the heck out of it. So very nice shaver here, the Yates. And with the EH plate, it's definitely much to my liking. So I'm digging it. <laughs> and I hope wherever you are today, you're having exceptional shaves. Oh man, this is very nice. Feels great. You can definitely feel the blade here doing its work. But to me, it doesn't feel menacing. But quite frankly, I think once you use open blades quite a bit, um, safety razors don't feel as menacing anymore because, you know, you don't have full on blade on your skin. There's still that safety bar there, sort of affording you a little bit of protection. But you do have to control the razor. And if you come in too hot or use too much pressure, you can certainly nick or cut yourself. If you do the wrong thing with any kind of razor, you can certainly cut yourself. We'll re-lather for a cross pass here. And I'm gonna tell you, this has just been a phenomenal shave, really enjoyable. Yates makes really good razors. Like I said, just handle is my only issue there. And when I get the right handle for this razor, I'm gonna be really happy with it. Although I can say right now, it's shaving in a really excellent fashion or allowing me to shave in an excellent fashion. That's really, I'm doing the shaving. The tool is allowing me to do the work. Um, so I would say if you want a really nice, efficient head for a razor or the entire razor, the EH is definitely efficient. No question about it. All right. That's plenty good enough there. And we'll finish this one out. Very nice indeed. Definitely like this razor. Feels nice. Doesn't feel overly rough, at least to me. Um, but again, you know, keep in mind, people have different preferences when it comes to razor efficiency. And some people don't like to feel a lot of blade on their skin. Um, this one I think feels great, at least for my use case, which I'm someone who appreciates some good efficiency. So just keep that in mind. You might find this to be a lot more than you want. If you appreciate, uh, if mild razors is your jam, um, then I would suggest one of the other plates, you know, because uh, they do offer multiple plates. So keep that in mind. Yates has a number of different offerings that you can check out. And that was an outstanding shave. I have to say, no buyer's remorse on the EH plate for the Yates razor, nor the, the uh, lightish red from Sterling. Fantastic. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we applied our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shape. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shape. Indeed, following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. And this is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with sterling lightish red, and let's run down the scores for you. In cost, it was five out of five. In scent quality, five out of five. In scent strength, four out of five. In ease of use, five out of five. In overall quality, five out of five. And that brings it to a total score of 24 out of 25. Absolutely exceptional. I loved it. Um, really, really nice indeed. The razor for today was the Yates Precision Manufacturing, and this is the EH plate, which is the extra heavy, meaning quite aggressive. It was nice, efficient, but still felt smooth to me. Nasset blade in there on its first use. It was really, really nice, and I enjoyed that a lot. We used our Lancaster Razor Works brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug, and we're gonna finish it out today with the Sterling Lightish Red Splash. And this was one of those Black Friday type of thing. So if you want to get this, I suggest you get it now and I will link it below because they don't keep these 
things around for long. So just keep that in mind. I'll just slap that on and man, whoo, that is a nice scent. And yes, I'm in my 50s. And I know this is a young person's scent, but I don't care. It smells great. And you shouldn't care either. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.